Hey guys, alright, so we're here for my Christmas, December, winter favorites. I watch these a lot and they're like, uh, like they really calm me down. Like they have some therapeutic effects, I don't know. So I hope I can be your calming voice for like five minutes and talk about the shit that I like for this month. And you know, I actually really love Christmas season holiday season I anywhere from like October to December and then my birthday's in January and I feel like the fun's over in January so you know we have Halloween which is the greatest of all time the Thanksgiving you know Black Friday and then you know uh, Christmas and the New Year's so right now we're like in that era December so you know a lot of glitter a lot of fun a lot of ads yeah let's just talk about some of the materialistic stuff I have my favorite thing from this month, actually I think I bought it last year for December, I don't know. It's actually my phone case. Look how cute it is. It's teddy bear, if you couldn't make it out. And um, I ordered it from like AliExpress. And if you don't know about AliExpress, you should like just Google it. It's the greatest thing ever. And yeah, so it's just a teddy bear. And teddy bears, you know, they remind you of Christmas and they're like for kids. I like my Christmas to be like very like kid-like and childlike, so this is what it reminds me of, you know, because I can't, I can't have toys anymore, so I have phone covers. And it just the only thing is like it's a little cumbersome, you know, but it's fine. It's worth it's worth the hassle. But like three days in, I'm like I kind of want to get rid of the ca phone case, but it's so cute that I keep it. Okay, yeah, you guys are gonna think I'm like a basic bitch for this, but I don't care. And I could have made it even more basic. I could have included. You know what, you're going to get it in a second. This is a Bath and Body Works spray for your body. Body spray. See, I could have included the candles, which I do use during this time, but I didn't do that. I didn't want you guys to get offended, you know, because of how basic that shit is. But it's true, it's delicious. You could take, like, a guy there and he'll have a good time. You know? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. And this smells like red velvet. Cheer. Okay, no, it smells like red velvet. So it smells really good and it's really and it has a Santa thing on it. So you know for sure it's Christmassy. And I just put it all over my body. I bought it like on sale, it was like a dollar. So I did good, I didn't shop less. Yeah, I never buy the sprays when they're like just regular price, like fourteen dollars for a spray. Go f Okay. Not paying that. Since we're in the body sprays and stuff, maybe I should do kind of just beauty things. Okay. And then this, okay, this is Physician, Physician's Formula Argan Oil. I bought it, I'm not going to lie, because it looked pretty. It looked like a potion bottle, and I used to be a witch. So this really spoke to me, and it just looks beautiful. Look at how pretty it looks. But it's like, it's oil. So I start, what I started doing with this, I started just mixing with my foundations. Because I don't like really cake face, I'm not into that. So you mix this with your foundation, and like it, it just goes on really easily, and it's not that crazy. And that's all. I think they say you can use it for like your nails and stuff, but I don't know. I just use it on my face sometimes. So yeah, so this thing. Have you guys noticed the Christmas tree in the back? It's Christmas. Winter or holiday stuff, like it just reminds me of glitter. Like I want glitter all over me. I wish, I wish glitter wasn't so annoying and got everywhere. So the way I deal with that, because I don't want to put actual glitter on me because it's really annoying and it'll go all over my bed. Nothing goes in my bed other than me and so I, the way I deal with it is I just get glitter nail polishes and I put it like you know glitter on my nails so these are the ones I've been using all glitter all the time and it's just a f it's like festive like I look at my nails I'm like oh it's party time actually I do my own nails I don't really go to a salon to do it I mean not only because I'm cheap because I am but because like I, I've gone before and they cut your cuticles and then your fingers hurt and you can't tell them that because, you know, let's not get into why you can't tell them that. But if you, like, nod at them and you're like, hey, no, don't do that to my nails, they just get offended. So let's just beat all that. Just do your nails at home. And I have good nails. Uh, they, they break after, like, two weeks. They're not bad. So they're easy to deal with. So I just do it at home. So other makeup stuff that I have around here is, let me see, it includes... This is BB Bronzing Cream. It's from Urban Decay. It's from their Naked line or whatever. And I just got this at like one of those Nordstrom outlet stuff. 
just to try it because I don't have anything that's like bronzy for your face. And I don't like like really thick bronzer because it goes off on your clothes. Like I'm very efficient. I like to I like easy stuff. But then I use this like kind of just to contour like on the on maybe the you know the outer the outer perimeters of my face or like around my nose. And it's nice. It's like light, you know. So I've been using that to contour a little bit, so I don't have to use powder. And yes, that's really nice. And you know during winter you're really white. Well, not here because I'm in Florida, but. Usually you're like really white So you need some like contour stuff. You need some bronzer. So use that and this next thing This was included in my around my makeup stuff, but it's not really makeup and you guys might laugh at me But I don't care. Okay, so if you like bags, you know what this is if you're into it. This is a bag holder For a table if you go out or something or if you just want to put your bag on the ground yeah, I walk around with this in my bag. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing. And I really like it because it has like a little crown. I don't know. Makes me feel good. And I've had this for a while. Um, but it's like my favorite. It should be my every month favorites. Because I really like it. Alright, and I think this is the last thing for makeup. These are kind of the palettes I've been using for winter. You see it has a blush, highlighter, and bronzer so it's like really um, handy so I've been taking it to shoots with me and I use it just I just throw it in my bag when I'm traveling or whatever and this is very efficient and it's good quality um, it's the Urban Decay Naked okay and these palettes are like very wintry palettes this I got maybe around August and I, I haven't really used it and it's the Urban Decay the Gwen Stefani one if you know me, you know I have a very sick obsession with Gwen Stefani since I was in elementary school. So I was really happy when I found her palette. You see it? It's really cute colors. And they're all like themed with no doubt stuff. And if you're a no doubt super fan like I am, it really like tickles your fancy. So, you know, although this thing out here, I don't know if you guys know about this. There's like this fear of circles. And if you Google it, I forgot what it's called, like triphobia or something. And that's what this reminds me of. I don't like that, but you know what, it's Gwen Stefani, so I'll let it go. And then the last one is this Too Faced Rock and Roll palette. I got this, like, maybe a few months ago. And it looks easy, you just have dark colors. It's, like, just a very easy palette. I just throw it in. Wait. i just been throwing it in, like, my travel cases, these two together. Because this does have some light shades that you can use, like, during the day or something. And then night shades. I think that's okay I think that's all of like my makeup and beauty smell stuff yeah okay so let's go to sunglasses I really love sunglasses so much a very big sunglass collection some I paid for some I didn't so okay so this is like a cheapy sunglass that I just bought at like some ghetto ass store but look at that don't look at my dirty house Look how pretty, doesn't that look like so, like, bitch? Oh. Yeah, it looks really good. So, and it covers, I like sunglasses even though I have, like, a smaller jaw. I still like sunglasses that are very big for my face. Because, no, I, because it, like, covers all your eyes. And then you don't fuck your eyes up and get wrinkles under them or whatever. It's just very comfortable, you know. So, I really like these. And these are, like, my fancy sunglasses that I got, I think... Like last month, I think I got it. I don't know. It was like on sale and I had to get it. But these are my fancy ones. These are Balenciaga ones. Look. They're kind of like, like comic booky. You guys know what I'm saying? They're kind of heavy, but you know, I guess that comes with territory. But yeah, I really like these two because they're kind of like, really like, I don't know. They remind me of comic books or... There's like a word for it. What's the word? Oh, what's the word for it? Um, okay, and then I have some more accessories. Although it hasn't been cold here, um, when I traveled, I went up north to New York and New Jersey around there. It was really cold, and that was in October. It must be like freezing death over there right now. But um, over here... Ugh. But this is a good one for when I travel. I don't need to use this here. It's like a really pretty, it's just like a coat, like you could barely see it. 
it's like pleather or something. It's so warm and pretty. You can't really see it, but I promise it's pretty. I really like it. It's like kind of grungy or something, and it's really warm. So when I travel, I'm going to use this shit. I'm going to use it. I can't use that here, but I could use it when I travel, so I'll be saving that. And I really in love with it. And then the last thing for my winter favorites is my favorite thing in the world. It's a bag. Yeah, it's a bag. So I got this bag. <laughs> so I got this bag from Aldo, which is like, yeah, it's like a cheapy place. But look how cute it is. It looks like an expensive, I mean, I'm not trying to like be an asshole to Aldo, but just, you know, usually their bags are, you know, they're not Chanel. But this is so pretty. It looks like, I don't know, like it looks like really expensive. It looks like a cowboy bag, which I'm really in love with cowboy stuff right now. It just looks so pretty to me, and it's red. I've been really into red recently. And it has, like, a little pocket here. God damn it, I closed it. To put, like, your phone and your shit. Your drug. And, um, yeah, so I just thought it was really pretty. I really like this bag. And I think I got it off, like, Black Friday. In the comfort of my own home, in my bed, I ordered it online. Guys, come on, don't go out. Unless it's, like, for anthropological reasons to look at people. Or to shop, you know what? I don't care, I don't judge. But I don't I don't think I want to do that anymore. I tried it. It was really stressful. So this is the stuff I like this month and I hope you guys thought it looked nice too. But if you didn't, you know, just tell me. We'll get in a fight. So if you guys like my video, just go ahead and click like downstairs. And if you like me, subscribe to my channel and you'll be seeing more of me. Mm-hmm. And also follow me on Instagram, Facebook. I have the links down there. And if you have anything to say, anything at all, just write it down. Even if it's not nice. You know, give me something to do. I'm very lonely. So let me read what you want to write to me. Yeah. So, alright guys. I'll see you next time. I guess next year. So if I don't see you again, Happy New Year. Yeah. And Christmas tree. Okay, bye. <laughs>